boys today we got another fish of a lifetime in this video with some good old boys from kentucky the old bluegrass state it's been a complete you know what show of me trying to upload an internet i'll touch on that later in the video this is one of the most memorable days of fishing i've ever had um we catch a cut to really two fish of a lifetime giant yellowfin tuna in wonderful louisiana we're about to put this big girl back in the water had a couple days off of bad weather but finally finally we get to fish tomorrow this day started really slow we ended up catching shark after shark after shark until about 11 o'clock and then this happened all righty boys oh, found the right one huh all right all them sharks we finally got the right one he's screaming boy wow. well after about we've been like we probably tied on 25 hooks the past 45 minutes the shark has just been ferocious I haven't had the right one yet, bunch of bonitas, Here but uh, go, baby. lock them down, pop them or stop them. Here there we he go. is. Just wait your turn, right. baby. That's what tuna fishing is all about. Wait your turn. Do you use that just in case? Oh, yeah. Or do you use it? We do use it. Oh boy. We finally got a nice tail beat on this rod. We got them bowed up. Look at that. We got this up, buddy. We're going to see. It ain't over yet, but he's getting close. There you go. Oh, I see a knot. Oh, yeah, there he is, boys. Be careful standing behind me. Yep. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We get going. Easy, 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 easy. Yep. Uh, flip, flip. Back off on the drag just a hair. Easy, easy. Nice nope, right there is fine. I didn't quite get the dart all the way in. Hit him. Yeah, baby! Got yeah. yeah! We got him, boys! Oh, yeah, boys! Yeah! That is a big machine! Yes, Triple digits, that baby! Yes, sir. Let's go! Yeah, boys! Right in the corner, boy. She works. She works, baby. It's in there better than you think. Plus, bluefin and I darted. That's what happened. We could barely get it out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right there. One of you boys want to get on this gap? Yep. Just a sick video of bringing them in. Come on. This is why we drive to Louisiana for triple digit tunas. Yes, sir. Ain't nothing like this in the world. This is what it's all about, boys. Yeah. Come on, baby. What it's all about. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, boys. Let's go. Triple digits, baby. Blue water right there. Come get you some. Come get you some, Bob. Come get you some. Hey, man. Just blessed. Another day on the water. Hashtag blessed. That's, not, that's a good guess. Triple digits, man. Wow. I think it's going to be close. Look at the sickles on them. Boys, that's a... Hey, boys. Yeah, boys. Man. <sighs> you ain't kidding. Heck of a fish, dude. Heck of a fish. Look at that. Look at the sickles on this thing. Look at that ridiculous. Look strong. at that blue, purple. Sheesh. It's a beautiful fish. Fish of a lifetime. Sea monster. It is a sea monster. Wow. I don't know what he weighs, but... I, th I don't think he is quite uh, 200, but... No, I think he's 150 -ish. He's dense, that's all he's I He's still funny. He's uh, thick uh, right here, real big around right yeah. here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yep. Tail mounts are pretty badass. Yes, they are. <laughs> if you're not into mounting the whole thing, I mean, the whole thing's even cooler. But... All right. One, two, three. Look at that. One and done, baby. Man, look at that size of that. <laughs> Dude, that's a big fish. Look how fat he is. He looks like a dang fish. I, I think it's. I don't know. That's a dense fish, boys. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alex just popped another monster. Good God, son. Wow. Wow. A lot of big fish here. <laughs> yeah, boys. Push his head towards me. Yeah, there you go. Got it. Got it. Yeah, 
Alrighty, so after that fish, we fished for a little bit more, but then there was a nasty, nasty front barreling down on us to the point where we had a uh, timer countdown to how long we were gonna fish just so we didn't have to run the whole way back in. It was coming straight at us from uh, the north. We had to go north, so we're like, all right, let's set a timer. And right before the buzzer, we hook another giant yellowfin tuna. We go. Come on, baby. Get tight on him. Get tight on him. Get tight on him. Come on. He don't even know he's hooked yet. No, he Get doesn't. tight on him. He does now. Woo yeah. <laughs> Look at that thing go. Come on, yeah. He's gonna give it to you. Take it from you. You don't see no big wags. You just little short tails inside. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Don't just no luck. There's a lot. There's a lot of freaking heat on that fish too, and he's feeling it now. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on. Bump it up. I think I got a little bit more in him. Yeah. There you go. Swap off if you need to. Swap off. It's a team effort, guys. Ain't no shame in it. We're gonna rotate through you guys. I don't I'm think out. he'll give it up. He won't <laughs> give it up. You, you three. Don't yeah. give it up. We'll get ours tomorrow. He's at 75 foot. Excuse me? Yep. yep. Oh yeah. He's getting close there. Oh, he's real close. He's pretty dandy. Oh, he's a dandy, all right. I'm calling him triple digit. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he is. No she is. Right oh, doing my favorite little circles. There you go, you <laughs> Are you having fun yet? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> having a ball. Oh, darn. I'm thinking we can get drunk as hell if we get this out there. <laughs> she don't want to give up. Mm -mm. Doing oh. Come on now. Oh, kicking. Easy there, Trigger. You're good, you're good. Well, when them thumbbits get up close to the top, they don't want no part of it. Uh, uh, yeah, real, real, real. There you go. There you go. Free, free cranks. You gotta, you gotta take advantage of that weak Gain. part of his circle. Gain him, boy. There you go. Now. He's doing wide ovals, perfect, right up and down the gun. He's gaining, you're gaining a line on the strong part of his circle now. Oh, yeah. This turn, after he turns, you need to start reeling hard as you can. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We got need Cala. Cala, Cala, we got it. We need a leader. Oh yeah, keep on coming. Damn it, dude. Oh, we're getting close. That's a beefer. Yeah, it looks like he's foul hooked, Cala. maybe. No? I got color. That's got color. monster. Got color. Ten wheeling. Come on up. Wow. Come on up. Come on up. What a fish. Yep. Nice. Back off on the drag, just a hair. Good. Good. Keep fighting them. Keep yeah. bringing him? Yep. This dart's just insurance. Nice job! Oh. Nice job! That's Hell a bigger yeah. one. Nice job! Let's get a second. Yeah. That's a big one. Yes, it is. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah boys. Yeah, boys. Big fish pop! Yeah, perfect. Yes, sir! Perfect. Hey, Baba. Win! Video or not? You! Oh! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Backwards, backwards! Uh, yeah! God, what a freaking beer! Whoa! Oh, yeah! Triple digis again! Woohoo! -hoo. All right! What a beer! Let's clean her up! Oh, Let's get out of here before crap. that gets us! Holy crap! Yeah, bye! at it again. What do you weigh? You're gonna get about a hundred pounds of meat out of it. What do you think 
ways. Let me look at it. That's yours. 142. Plus 20. 162. Sheesh! That's the small one? Yeah, that's the small one. That's the small one. That's the small one. Bob! <laughs> Big Fish Bob! Close, 203. Closes 203. one, gets a free charter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me guess again. Yeah. Free charter sticker. <laughs> yeah. You've been watching too much CNN if yeah. you believe that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your guesses, boys? 198. I said it was 196. Oh. <laughs> It, oh, oh. oh. two on one, baby! No yeah, no yeah. <laughs> two on one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Yes, sir. That's freaking awesome. Yes, sir. That's awesome, man. Two on one. Another one. My goodness, guys. Venice, Louisiana. For the record, they don't grow them about that big on a Kentucky hillside. I tell you. No, I don't think they do. <laughs> Come on. Yes. That girl's wrap up free, boys. <laughs> Alrighty, boys, I'm going to do a tuna jerky. Woo, because I have a lot of tuna. And this piece is actually from lovely kelly young and blue gabe that came and caught a monster with us and so i got a big old ooh, i got a big giant sword steak that i get to cut up sword steak tuna steak that i get to cut up and uh i'm gonna cut it into slices and make a little mixture i'll show you guys that in a second all righty i got the uh seven inch sword g10 gun grip knife pow gonna be cutting it up with that Okay, so I'm just gonna cut it into slices. Like, try to get it as skinny as possible. I'll dry it off really quick. This is a gigantic piece of tuna. This thing weighs about like five, six pounds. It is a very large steak from a very large tuna. It's also skin on too. I just feel like it back seals better with the skin on, keeps it firmer, keeps it more in shape, keeps it correct. Honestly, I'm not even gonna take the skin off. I'm just gonna. Start cutting little tiny pieces. Little skinny pieces, not tiny pieces. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this, marinate it for six to 24 hours whenever I get back to it. We're about to go do some boat maintenance and uh, go hang out in the duck boat and shoot some stuff and hopefully catch some stuff, set a trout line for another video. So I'm gonna let it marinate and then when I come back, I'll probably throw it on the smoker. Real quick, YouTube magic. Boom. Wow, it's all cut up. I'm actually not gonna use all of it for jerky. I'm gonna eat it regularly as well. But uh, now I'm gonna make a marinade for it. So we got sesame oil, soy sauce, and honey. You're supposed to have rice vinegar as well, but the mall, AKA Dollar General, does not have that. So this is what we're gonna go with right now. I'm gonna put some uh, hot sauce in there as well, or some kind of heat. Maybe a little sprinkle, sprinkle, uh, Cajun two-step cayenne. Um, put it in a bowl and let it sit for a while. And it's supposed to be two part so why am I not really, stop focusing on the bottle? It's supposed to be two part soy, uh, one part everything else. However, I'm not a master chef, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. It's smoked jerky. How how hard can I mess this up? I say that. This was stupid. I should have put it in a bag. I don't know why I thought a bowl would be okay. I'm a big dumb idiot, guys. A little bit of honey. Also, I'm gonna put this stuff on it. This stuff is incredible. Some of the best Cajun seasoning I've ever had. Are you gonna focus? There you go. Bob actually puts this on absolutely everything. It's a little bit sweet and spicy for ya. It's actually covered up pretty good. Um, full worked out. Boom. Now we wait for it to soak, soak in the goodness. So let me touch on uh, the internet debacle that is my life right now. So when I originally filmed like the intro and the uh, 
like little segues from each part. I had had one internet debacle in my life. Now I have two. I have two of them. So the first one was with Sparklight, which is like the South Louisiana version of Spectrum or Comcast or whatever. I signed up for the best internet you could possibly get. They're like, yeah, we'll, we'll be there on this day and fix it up for you, get you going. All right, cool. I had a trip that day. I had to schedule it for a week later. Um, so I waited two and a half weeks for them to come install the internet. And the technician called me and was like, yeah, I don't know how they let you sign up. The closest place to you that we service is 70 miles north of you. So over an hour north and somehow they thought, I don't know, I digress. But the new nightmare is with Viasat satellite internet. I uh, had a friend down here that was staying at a houseboat that had satellite internet and I was able to upload a couple videos. So I was like, all right, I just need to upload. I don't care if it takes six hours to upload a 20 minute video. I can upload sometimes, I sh I'm sure, I hope. I sign up for the service and then I select a install date for yesterday, March 31st. I got a confirmation email from Viasat. I get a call the day before the 30th and they're like, oh, you need to set up your install appointment. I was like, no, I don't. I'm on schedule for the 31st. I got an email from you guys. And they're like, oh, let me check on that and call you back. Never call me back. And so tomorrow comes and I am on the phone. I I was lied to by Viasat four different times. I called them the first time. I was like, no, I took off work today. I didn't run, a, I didn't go on a trip yesterday because you guys sent me an email saying that you were gonna come and put my internet in place. Like I can't go any longer without it. I can't. I'm trying to upload videos. My brother's getting married soon. I have to plan a whole bachelor trip through the, and I'm in like literally the worst place in America to do this. I'm in the middle of nowhere with barely any cell service and zero Wi-Fi. So this is like, I need this now, now, now. And so they lied to me and said, okay, we're bringing someone out today by 11. 11 comes around. I call him again, different person answers. Oh, you just wait till 12. Uh, we'll just wait till 12. That's when they should be there. 12 rolls around. No one's there. I call again at one o'clock and I'm like not happy at this point, obviously. So I go through the whole spiel for the third time and I was like, guys, you guys really messed up on this one. Like you need to help me out. Like I didn't make any money today so I could get Wi-Fi. You guys completely dropped the ball. Please help me out. And they're like, okay, we'll reschedule you for tomorrow. I was like, all right, that's fine. We got a weather day tomorrow. Like that's good enough. 11 to two is my new install time. And I was like, so on my app, it shows what my install appointment is. When I hang up the phone, it's gonna say April 1st, 11 through two o'clock, right? And he says, yes. And I hang up the phone and I go on my app and it says April 8th, April 8th. So I call back and another person answers. They're like, yeah, so there's no uh, appointments available for tomorrow. But you told me there were appointments. Why God? So I got lied to again. I just need to calm down from that moment. I'm just, I'm venting. I haven't been able to vent over this. And they're like, oh, we need to go through the call and verify that your person said that. Why? You told me. Anyways, she was like, okay, I'm gonna get your technician to call you in about 15 minutes. Never got a call. So I'm just bang, 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 click, click, reload, bang, 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 bang. At this point, I'm just eating it. I'm gonna get it installed April 8th. Um, because God hates me and doesn't want me to upload to YouTube, apparently. So internet is on the way. So I won't be uploading every two weeks, hopefully, hopefully. Um, I uploaded this last video and this video because I drove two and a half hours round trip to Bob's house up in Belt Chase that has internet. Oh. So there's story time with Joe. I'm gonna wait a couple hours and put this on the grill. Alrighty boys, about 10 o'clock. I am going to uh, put these on the smoker. Let them sit for about six hours. That's what I'm getting up. Pull them off. Tomorrow we're gonna have some tasty yellowfin tuna snacks. The dogs are going crazy. Anyways, put them on the smoker right here and uh, pull them and I wake up. Got some more chips. These are applewood. I'm cooking about 160. And that's this stuff has been marinating for probably 12, 11 hours now. If I get up in the middle of the night, I'm gonna add some more uh, chips. I always get up in the middle of the night, so there's a very good chance that'll happen. Shut up, dogs. They're going crazy. It's 
like this every night. All right. Ooh, I guess I should show you guys. There you go. All right. All put to bed. All's left is me. Then I'm going to bed and pull in the morning. Good morning. It's 4.15. Time to pull these bad boys. Smell really good. Here we go. First rack pulled. It looks and smells really good. Try it. Hmm. It's really tender. Hmm. It's really good. Really good flavor. I expected it to be tougher, but it's not. Maybe cook it a little longer next time. But, boys, thanks so much for watching. <sighs> I've got a long day fishing ahead. It's going to be rough. Say a quick prayer for me. Um, this place is amazing. I'm so lucky to be here. Going after another big one today. In the rain. Wish me luck. <clears throat> Love you guys. See y'all next time.